Welcome back to the Big Ranch. Now tomorrow is the anniversary of January 6th. As many of you know, that was the day that a group of thugs decided to try and take over our government. Agged on by the former president, agged on by the lies of him and his ilk, they stormed the people's house. trying to stop the peaceful transfer of power. Injuring people. Destroying the building. Causing billions in damage. Setting up gallows outside saying, hang Mike Pence. For doing his job. They had people who intended to take members of Congress hostage, including Nancy Pelosi. They want to tell you now, they want to rewrite history now, a few years later, that no, it was a peaceful, no, it was not peaceful. It was not a peaceful gathering of people protesting an election they didn't like. They were literally trying to start a coup. At the behest of Donald J. Trump. Remember that this November. Remember that the Republicans are the ones that wanted to destroy this country. They are the ones wanting to install a fascist dictatorship. They are the ones wanting to take women's rights away. They're the ones trying to destroy the LGBTQ community. They are the ones banning books. They are the ones trying to rewrite history. That's a fact. What took place on January 6th, 2021 should have never happened here. Should have never happened in America. I had no intentions of doing a video today. But I kind of felt like I needed to. I'll be back on Monday. With more news. And hopefully we can start the year on a good foot, a good note on Monday. But if you're one of those people out there. That think the Republicans don't want to destroy this country. You're, in, you're, you're sadly mistaken. You're in for a world of hurt come January of 2025. If you're a member of the LGBTQ community, especially the trans community, and you think supporting a Republican is a good idea, or not supporting Joe Biden because you don't approve of a policy position, then we're going to pay for it in January 2026, or 2025, I mean. Because Project 2025 is no joke. Project 25 doesn't care if you voted for a Republican. Doesn't care if you support Donald Trump. If you're trans or any other member of the LGBTQ community, They're coming after you. Project 2025 lays it out. It's decide it tries to set things up just like Hitler did. By pushing certain groups of people out of the country.
this specifically points at trans people and immigrants. To my liberal friends out there, my fellow progressives, who are upset at Joe Biden because of his stance on Palestine, I feel you. And I completely understand your sentiment. I am, I'm too, just as upset by what is happening in Gaza. I am just as heartbroken. But I think what we have to do is prevent a genocide here. So I will support Joe Biden through November 2024. If he wins, then I think we hold his feet to the fire when it comes to Palestine. But I think right now we have to protect the integrity of our democracy, of our republic. While at the same time, or at the same time pushing Joe Biden to stop his support of Israel. But I also understand it's a far more complicated game than that. And people out there are going to be like, well, game, that's not really a good word, but it is. Think of it this way. If Joe Biden just outright comes out and says he doesn't support Israel. Or doesn't support what Netanyahu is doing. He loses as many votes as if he does by trying his best to minimize what takes place. By trying to convince Netanyahu to not do certain things. To leave the civilians alone. Now, I do believe Congress should block any and all funds to Israel, especially if it's military support. I believe the only funds we should be sending to that part of the world right now is to, is to the people in Gaza and the people in the West Bank that are being attacked. I understand what Hamas did. I understand how terrible it was. How vile and disgusting a lot of their acts were. But I also understand that over 20,000 Gazans are dead. Almost half of them children. People that weren't even part of it. We know they have the capability in Israel to take out individual people one at a time or groups of Hamas leaders, one at a time, right? You can't tell me they don't. At this point, it's proof that they're just wanting to inflict pain on the civilians. And yes, I find that absolutely abhorrent. I find that to be a war crime. I find that to be absolutely disgusting. But do you think it'll be any better when Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis becomes president in 2024? Think of it. Donald Trump has in the past said he would put boots on the ground in Israel to fight Palestinians. That he would increase funding to Israel, that he would send more weapons to Israel, not lim in, you know, including but not limited to nuclear weapons. And unfortunately, some people out there aren't understanding that. Some of you seem to just be caught up on this 
and not realizing how much worse it could be. So how about we support Joe Biden for now? Try to get him reelected in November. While at the same time throughout the year pushing that we pushing him towards if nothing else, stopping extra funding going to Israel. I also believe we should push him to stop blocking the block, you know, voting to block a ceasefire. These are things that I have problems with Joe Biden on. These are things that I think a lot of people have problems with Joe Biden on. But at the same time, we have to consider what's going to happen here and how much worse it'll get for Palestinians if Donald Trump is re-elected president. Or if Ron DeSantis or Nikki Haley become president. All three of them are warmongers. No different than most of the people in the Democratic Party. As well. Third party candidates cannot win a general election. It's never happened in the history of America, and it never will, because of the way the Electoral College is set up. Now, I fully want a change in the, our electoral system. I want change. I don't like it being a two-party system. They have other 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 forms of electing people that I think would work out better. That I think would limit people feeling alienated. Or feeling like they're forced to vote for the Democrats or the Republicans. But what else can I say? People out there just are going to do what they're going to do. And some of y'all are going to put a lot of us in danger. Myself included. We already have trans people and their families fleeing to their home states to other states in the U.S., But I guarantee you, if Donald Trump is reelected or Ron DeSantis is, is elected president, we won't have to be fleeing our states. We'll be having to flee America. There, there's no other way to put it. Americans will have to become refugees in Canada and Mexico. And for those of us stuck in the middle of the country with no way to leave, where do you think they're going to put us? 